and community members. Two men arrested, accused of traveling to the home of a Mount Morris resident and scamming them out of $300,000. The Livingston County Sheriff's Office arrested 31-year-old Mateen Muhammad and 24-year-old Akbar Muhammad of Chicago. Today, Jatira Marsh tells us what happened and how you can protect yourself or loved ones from falling victim to something like this. Jatira. Teresa, these scams can happen through text, email, over the phone. Cybersecurity expert Jonathan Weissman with RIT says to never do something just because someone over the phone or text tells you to, and also verify information being shared. According to the Livingston County Sheriff's Office, a Mount Morris victim was scammed out of $300,000 after two suspects, Mateen Mohammed and Akbar Mohammed of Chicago, Illinois, claimed to be representatives for the United States Department of Justice and told the victim their computer was hacked. Police say the Mount Morris victim was told to purchase gems and precious metals and that a courier would be sent to pick them up. Police say both suspects showed up to the victim's home on May 30th and were arrested. Jonathan S. Weissman, who is a principal lecturer in the cybersecurity department at RIT, says typically scammers target a certain demographic that may not have knowledge of how to navigate the internet. There are a lot of people that are vulnerable to cybercrime such as elderly folks who haven't had the proper cybersecurity education and training. Those people are the target market. He says it's easy to fall victim to this type of crime and gives advice on how to avoid it. Nowadays, these crimes are everywhere. Phone, email, text. Never click on a link in an email or download and open up an attachment if you are not expecting that email. Go to the site directly. In addition, he says the longer your password, the better. The best thing you can do as far as your password management is to make a really long password and to use multi-factor authentication where you're using Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator, not text messages, to get a special code that allows you to sign in. Professor Wiseman also shares that is a common misconception that people need to change their passwords regularly. He says you only need to change your password if you found out that it was leaked. In the studio, I'm Jatira Marsh. Back to you. All right, Jatira, thank you. Both suspects were charged with felony attempted grand larceny in the second deg degree, conspiracy in the fifth degree, and petty larceny. Both were arraigned and released.